I am torn between the McDougal diet versus Furman diet. Which one is better? They are both plant-based. Furman focuses more on beans and greens, while McDougal focuses on starch. Furman says if you want to lose weight that you shouldn't eat more than a cup of starches a day. Why doesn't McDougal limit them? It is actually really hard for your body to convert starchy carbohydrates to fat. Starch is not the enemy of the ever-expanding waistline. Don't you think that eat to live in the Joel Furman way of eating is more nutritionally dense? It is true that beans and greens have a lot of nutrition, but they are also hard on the digestive system. Starches are easy to digest and are easy to sustain long term. I notice that the more beans I eat the more gassy I feel. It gets embarrassing sometimes. Dr. Furman's plan is great in theory and I could see how people lose weight on it. However, there is something extremely satisfying about potatoes and rice. It just makes you feel good to eat them. They call potatoes a comfort food for a reason. Don't people lose weight following McDougal as well? Yes, definitely. If you want to lose even more, he has a maximum weight loss plan. McDougal has less fat in the diet doesn't it? Yes, Furman is definitely heavier on the nuts and seeds. I find that if I eat too much fat I feel really bogged down. Why can't these experts just agree with each other? Want to get even more confused? Add Neil Barnard, the China Study Diet, the Esselstyn Diet, and the Ornish Diet into the mix as well. Don't even get me started on that. Choosing between John McDougall and Joel Furman is hard enough as it is. When it comes down to it, is the starch solution or eat to live better? Why not take the best out of both? Focus on starches and vegetables, but allow yourself some extra beans and greens to get an even more nutrition? Sounds like a diet plan I can live with.